All right, so I made a video about melting my fleet to get the Carrick, trying to show off a little bit of the system for the tokens and the buybacks and all that. Hoping maybe anybody had seen that, they'll catch up on this one. They've offered a livery for the Carrick now that I'm gonna have to get. Because Carrick is exploration, it's discovery, it's adventure, it is home. Flyable now. So what we're gonna do, since I don't have the cash again, but I need to upgrade so I can get the C8 Pisces as well. It's a nice little ship that goes with the Carrick. Little baby. Don't talk to him or his son ever again. See what I need to do here is take this Carrick that I got, upgrade it to this. It's 45 bucks. Of course, yeah. Got the RSI Medvac. I got the Drake Vulture. And I got this baseline Scarlet X1. But also, in my account from the last time I melted, I still have 10 bucks left. So, <laughs> see you later, Scarlet. Exchanging this, buddy. 35 bucks. Peace out. 35 bones. And for anybody who wasn't sure how that works, I just sold that into my buybacks. Now, if I wanted to, I can go back here and buy this back. It's still got the skin, the poster, the hanger, the lifetime insurance, the model, the regular pack with the skin, of course. They gave me 35, so it's going to be 35 bucks to buy it back. If I want to buy it back, I can buy it back with cash at any given time. But I have one buyback token that they give every four months. And these buyback tokens recycle so they don't stack if i don't use this buyback token it does they don't give me two and then three and then four they don't stack up i'll only get one so i have to use it once every four months to buy something back if i want another one but i can only do that with store credit one opportunity to buy back a pledge with store credits and if you see in my actual account in my hangar, I have a buyback token because I haven't used it yet. I have one opportunity to buy back with store credits. And I still have all of these things that I sold that I need to buy back eventually sometime. But I'll probably buy them all back with cash. I melted everything for this damn thing. Anyways, now I should be up to 45 in my store credit. <laughs> Add this to my cart. Let's go. Upgrade that character to an exposition with a C8X standard edition. And it's got delivery. Whoa, times two. No, 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 no. Only times one. Alright, checking out. Doing my customer info. You guys don't need to see that. Alright, 45. Credits and coupons. Use max of forty-five dollars. Apply that down. Total is zero dollars. Sale is not transferable. Items purchased using store credit are account bound, but I had already bought that whole pack account bound, so it's all right. Place an order, paying. Place an order. Bam. Order is successful. The order ID doesn't matter to you. What matters is this, and it doesn't matter to you anyways. I'm sure. Let's go ahead and apply this upgrade because I know I want it. I could sell it. You know, exchange it to somebody, but oh, look at all this extra stuff! I get an anvil hat, anvil manufacturer shirt, I get a carrot plushie. Yo, yeah. all right, here we go. This is applying the upgrade. You guys see how this works? Package this is the exploration pack, replacing the carrot with carrot expedition, the Pisces. Mm -hmm -hmm. Applying. Upgrade was successfully applied. It's gonna reset that. Five ships and eight items. Carrick Expedition with Pisces Expedition. That's right, kids. Not only do we got the Carrick, we got the Carrick with the special livery now. Livery. Li the special skin. Carrick with the special skin, because I can never figure out how to say that word. Livery, livery, livery. Anyways, we're living large. Look at this pack now, boys and girls, and those folks that care. Bye, -bye.